Hello YouTube, I'm here enjoying the nice, beautiful Florida weather and uh, you know, it just rained a little bit earlier, now it's a nice little breeze outside, it's not too hot, it's feeling pretty good right now. Um, and right now I'm sitting next to the yams that I have growing here in the ground, they're, they're kind of mixed up in with, mixed in with my uh, sweet potatoes but you know the, the way I actually ended up growing yams was there was a lady that was taking care of my dad who uh, she gave me one one yam with a little vine growing out of it one day and she was like plant this in the ground and when you get home and I was like okay cool so I actually planted it in the ground the uh, the vine started to grow and you know that was cool. I was like, oh, cool. You know, the vines were growing. I didn't really, ex I didn't know how big that the yam under the ground was actually going to become, but the yam is it's a root. It's like sweet potato. But uh, as the vines were getting bigger and bigger and thicker and thicker, the uh, apparently the root itself the, under the ground was getting thicker as well. When I when it came time to harvesting, my auntie Lois uh, came down here last summer from New York, and she actually. Um, I think it was in summertime. Maybe it was November, not sure, or t it was December. And she um, she helped me harvest the yams, and and when I pulled the yam out of the ground, I was like, wow! I was like, that the yam got huge from what she originally gave me a small little piece. So we end up uh, taking it inside. My auntie Lois cooked it, and the yams. She get, she she put some nice seasoning and stuff on the yams. It, it was it tasted great. I loved it. Uh, I almost ate the whole thing, but she, but she was like, you know, t take a little bit of the yam and throw it back in the ground. And I was like, all right. So I took like a tiny little scrawny piece of yams and then like basically like disintegrating in my hands and I just like threw it back in the ground back here. And I was actually thinking like, nah, I don't think I'm, it's going to end up growing. I don't think it's going to survive. Uh, and then on top of that, I also I ended up pretty much redoing this bed and planting other things in there and putting new dirt on there. But that didn't stop the yams. I noticed after planting other crops in this bed in the spring and filling it up with new soil, new dirt, basically reconstructing the bed almost, the yams, they just fought for survival. And then I just started seeing, I saw one vine popping up out of the ground. I was like, oh snap, look, the, yam, the yams are coming back. And then another vine popped up out of the ground. And then another vine popped up out of the ground. And before you know it, the whole bed is basically turned into a yam bed. If you look at this, like all these, these thick leaves right here, these are all the yams, okay? As you can see, they're pretty much growing all throughout this whole section here. And they're coming from different, different little roots. All right, there's not, there's not, it's not just one root. So apparently, when I put in the the dirt and started mixing up the soil, I probably spread that little root that I had all throughout this area. And as I spread the root all over the place, the roots started to grow thicker and thicker in disparate areas, not just in one lo in the one location that I put it. So now I got yams growing everywhere. And they're mixed in with the uh, sweet potatoes. So if you want to see the difference between a yam leaf and a sweet potato leaf, this one right here is a yam leaf, right? You can see the, the vine. It's thick. It's dark green. The sweet potato looks more like this. All right? That's a sweet potato leaf. Okay? But they're all mixed in here together. I can't wait to see what comes, what comes out of all this uh, once I start harvesting. It might be even ready to harvest now, for all I know, because the roots are looking kind of thick. But I'm going to wait. That's one thing that's important about gardening. It's uh, patience. It teaches, teaches you patience. And patience is a virtue. Anyway, that's my yams. Uh, if, you, if you want a, a nice hardy plant to grow uh, that, that, is, that will continue to grow through the trials and tribulations of seasons and everything, uh, Yam is probably the way to go, and they taste good. And that's something that was a staple crop of our ancestors. Um, if you are, if you are 
from Jamaica or Dominica or the British West Indies, it is likely that your ancestors actually come from Southeast Nigeria and are Igbo. And the Igbo people ha are, have a real affinity for, for yams. They even have a yam festival and all that kind of stuff. So that's something that was a staple crop. Even the Maroons in Dominica that I was telling you guys about in another video, when they created the Maroon community in the interior of the island, yam was their staple crop that they, that they grew up there. And so I might make this my staple crop to tap into my Igbo ancestors. Anyway, not to neglect my Akan ancestors. I rest in peace, Salis Kojo. But anyway, that is it for today. Um, remember guys, the revolution will not, will not, will never, ever, ever be pesticides. <laughs>